hello amazing people welcome back again to my channel i've been getting a lot of messages that uj why do Ghanaians dislike nigerians why don't they like nigerians what is the thing that is making Ghanaians have the same hatred for for nigerians and i have this video to share with you guys let's take a look at this video then we'll come back and react on it why was this bag named ghana must go many nigerians especially the gen z's thought it is just a nickname no it is not just a nickname something actually happened it was due to a deportation exercise that happened back in the days in nigeria sit back relax let me tell you why and how in 1983 nigeria carried out the largest deportation exercise in history and half of the people that were deported were Ghanaians. why ghana was a very prosperous country from 1930 in fact, as a small country, Ghana was richer than Nigeria as at the time because they produced the largest cocoa in the world. So people begin to migrate from neighboring country to Ghana in search for better life. Life was good and everyone was happy citizens. To manage whatever the country has as at the time, the government decided to carry out the deportation exercise. It was in January 1983. The president then gave an order that every foreigner without authenticated traveling document should leave the country in two weeks or face being jailed and it was recorded that over two million illegal immigrants were living in the country and half of them were Ghanaians. like i said they were given two weeks to vacate the country and as days go by the government begin to threaten that if after two weeks they refuse to leave that they will give power to the citizens to do whatever they like to any illegal migrant cited anywhere in the country. Well, your life is at risk. Whether you like it or not, you should leave. So out of fear of being attacked by the citizens, the people begin to pack their things. The Ghana must go, 1983. They still have it in mind. They want to pay us back. That is the story I had when I went there. They didn't kill them, but they are annoyed. They are still harboring that anger that they were sent home. And they want to, uh, because, I don't know, the, 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 the stories I heard when I was in Ghana, they say they hated us. There is something we should know as uh, Nigerians living in Ghana is that, you know, one thing about the Ghanaian people is that they don't like when people come to their country and try to like, you know, overshadow them. They don't like when people come to their country and try to like make them feel that they are nothing in that country. I've seen so many times Nigerians will travel to different African countries and when they are there, how they act or how they behave, it will be as if that, that country is just meant for Nigerians. And another thing again, what are Nigerian people have been doing in Ghana? I am not saying they are not good Nigerians. There are good Nigerians out there that are doing marvelously and excellently well in their fields and they are law-abiding citizens of Ghana not just in Ghana but different African countries and there are still some Nigerians that are there creating problems for the good Nigerians spoiling the name Nigerians that are the people the Ghanaians do not want in their country and that is the reason why why you see Ghanaians talk about Nigerians with disgust you'll be wondering what is it that Nigerians have done that they are talking to Nigerians this way. You know, during the uh, Shil Shagari regime, when the Ghana Moscow happened, first of all, it happened, Ghanaians did to Nigerians, they asked Nigerians to go back to their country because then their economy wasn't stable. And the same thing, when the economy of Nigeria wasn't stable, they asked Ghanaians to go back to their country. And people are saying it is because of what the anger that's during that Shil Shagari regime, that is the anger Ghanaians are still harboring in your mind for Nigerians the night. My subscriber sent me a I've made videos about this I think some months ago, ten months or eight. Ghanaians sent me a message telling me that he lost his father, uncle's brother during the Shil Shagari regime when they were coming back from Nigeria to Ghana because a lot of them trekked from Ghana from Nigeria to Ghana and a lot of them lost their life. I'm um, some due to starvation they couldn't feed well most of them lost their life along the line and Ghanaians were really really angry at that point to fight for themselves that they do not want to see nigerians in their country but what are we going to do they are still humans the good
still accommodate Nigerians in their country till today. The Nigerians living and dwelling in Ghana, the Nigerians doing businesses in Ghana, the Nigerians getting married to Ghanaian ladies here in Ghana, the Nigerians working in different governments para startups here in Ghana. I've seen Nigerians in Kolobu Teaching Hospital. If you are very conversant with the Kolobu Teaching Hospital, there was a Nigerian doctor that is well popular there. Very, one tall, very tall Nigerian doctor that is there in Kolebu Teaching Hospital is well known and is a Nigerian but is married to a Ghanaian and he is working in a government hospital. That is to show you the hospitality of Ghanaians. But right now, people are saying Ghanaians are still harboring that same Sheo Shagari regime. That thing that happened, the Ghana Moscow thing that happened during the Sheo Shagari regime, the Ghanaians are still putting it in mind. It is not all Ghanaians, you know, there is nothing like. When you lost your loved ones in the in the quest to come back home, because the government of a particular country decided to chase, give them a deadline. The worst part of it is that the government of Nigeria gave them a deadline to leave Nigeria, and if they didn't leave Nigeria within that deadline, something is going to happen to them. Is either they're going to be arrested or locked up in jail, and most of them were scared to be locked up, and they decide to like embark on that dangerous journey back to Ghana. And right now, how is Ghana today? Ghana is the same country that people want to come down to. Ghana is still the same country that a lot of Nigerians are coming into. A lot of Nigerians every day are trooping into Ghana for tourism. A lot of them want to come down to Ghana here to come and do business. So I will say, I don't think most Ghanaians, I don't think, I'll speak for most Ghanaians, I don't know for all Ghanaians, I'll speak for most people. I don't think that most of them are still having this uh, Ghana must go saga in their hearts. Just that most of them are angry of what Nigerians are doing in their country. There are some of those Nigerians that are there doing a lot of bad things in their country, and I'll not say all Nigerians because there are good Nigerians like me that still that are in Ghana doing businesses that are law abiding that have not even committed any crime and they're living there peacefully. So most people that will come and say, oh, Ghanaians dislike Nigerians, anything that concerns Nigerians, most Ghanaians they want to talk about it. It is not all Ghanaians. It is just a few of them. I wouldn't be I would be I would be very, very sincere with this. It is just a few Ghanaians that are not okay with Nigerians in their country. But there are still some that are okay with Nigerians in their country and they are not harboring what's happened during the Ghana Moscow regime. What they are agitating for is that Nigerians that are causing problems for Nigerians in Ghana should be flushed out, not the good ones. But I still see some people going about and saying, oh, Nigerians should be flushed out. But there are still some Nigerians that are, you know, good in Ghana, that are law-abiding, that haven't committed any crimes. So what do we do to those people? You know, when we say all oh, Nigerians should leave Ghana, what happens to the people that are living there legitimately, people that have been of good behavior, people that have been in that country representing the country in a good way? Just like me as a content creator, I love Ghana, I promote Ghana. I talk about how beautiful Ghana is and I talk about how kind and how generous the people of Ghana is because of the people I've met. I've met the good ones and I've also met the bad ones. But I wouldn't say because I've come encounter with the bad ones now makes me think all oh, Ghanaians are like this. No. But I still have the positive side of the Ghanaians that I've witnessed and I wouldn't just conclude that all Ghanaians are bad or all Nigerians are bad. So for those that said, oh, Ghanaians are still harboring the Sheo Shagari regime crisis, the Ghana must go issues, they are still having it in mind. It is not, it is not true. Not all of them. There are still some that are still angry that they lost their loved ones during that period. And it is something to be angry about because you had the loved ones living peacefully in Nigeria. And as at that time, they have Ghanaians that are law abiding in Nigeria that are not doing anything bad, but they decide to like ask all of them to go back home and it is so annoying that when your loved ones lost their life in the quest to go back home because a particular government of a particular country decided to chase everyone that is from your country away from their country but i am not trying to say that we shouldn't be angry Ghanaians shouldn't be angry with nigerians for what you know it is bad I wouldn't accept that it is bad that oh at that point that people lost their lives a lot of people lost their lives at that point during that Ghana must go time the Ghana Ghanaians should go back to their country a lot of citizens of Ghanaians lost their lives and some of them came back with different illness some of them became crippled some of them become as a different kind of illness you know and most of them lost their lives some of them are still in that sickness till date 
that we don't even know about. So I know where the angers of most Ghanaians are coming from. And I also know where the angers of some other Ghanaians are coming from. The bad things most Nigerians are doing in the country. And the Shell Shagari crisis. The, Shil the, the Ghana must go issues. Some of them are still harboring it. And not all of them are harboring it. Not all of them hate Nigerians because of that Ghana must go issues. That is just the past. Just like this man, the beginning of the Nigerians angry with them because of what uh, Nigerians did to Ghanaians in those days during the Shewu Shagari regime. And to me, I would say it is not because of that, and it is far from that. It is because of the present things they are seeing Nigerians doing. And another thing again is that Nigerians have been all over the news of lately. The Nigerians have been all over the news for the bad things. Most I would say Nigeria as a name have been all over the news for the bad thing not the people of nigeria the name nigeria when you go to this particular country you see nigerians committing crime when you travel out of nigeria to advanced country you see nigerians committing crime a lot so when everything comes together the the negativity in nigeria is superseding the positivity of nigerians the negative side of Nigerians is showing to the world. It is out there in the faces of people in the world than the positive side of Nigerians. I think people say Nigerians are good people. Yes, Nigerians are very, very good people when you meet the good ones. They are good, loving, kind Nigerians out there. When you meet them, you'll be surprised that, oh, Nigerians are like this. And Nigerians, you know, one thing about Nigerians is that they love associating with people. They love, they love people around them. That's the one thing about the people of Nigeria. And there are still some Nigerians that we see them. Those ones are the greedy ones that are always looking for more. They want more. They want to eat more. They want to have it all for themselves. And this would make them do things that they are not expected to do to make them do things that are bad and once they do all those things it affects the good ones it affects the name nigeria and that is the reason why when they commit crime in ghana here kenyans will be angry nigerians why is it only you are you the only one in this country are you the only one in this country we have kenyans we have togolese we have Benin republic people from the Benin republic we have people from senegal we have people from uganda tanzania that are residing here in ghana is it just nigerians that is the problems Ghanaians have. Why is it that it is only Nigerians that they hear their name on daily basis in the news? If you turn on to join news right now, in every two news in Nigeria, like they have two news that is being casted twice in Ghana, Nigerians' names would be mentioned. If they're not mentioned for they're mentioned for you know a prostitution for prostitution, they're mentioned for a lot of things. So please, Nigerians in diaspora, let us try to be of good behavior. Let us put our names, let us put the name Nigeria in a positive way and stop tarnishing the image of Nigerians and the image of the good Nigerians residing in Ghana and not just in Ghana, but different African countries, not just in Africa, but in the world. I don't know what you guys have to say about this video. Please drop your comments in the comment section. Like, share this video. Please don't forget to turn the post notification to get notified whenever I share amazing content like this. Thank you for watching my videos. See you in my next video. Bye.